Judge Merchan is getting pissed at Alvin Bragg after this new evidence that Alina Haba just dropped. Y'all gotta check this out. Well, welcome to Doug in Exile. Yeah, we're going into Hunter Biden's felony gun thing, but also on Jack Smith being the evil apprentice working under Merrick Garland as his bag man. Here's Alina Haba on the Benny Johnson show. Oh, oh, welcome and subscribe. You want my hypothetical, what I actually think they're doing. I think that Please. they're trying to make it look like everything is fair. Uh, I think that they have to save face. This is over why Hunter Biden got the gun thing. I was on a, a show last night, Andy Worski's show, and they were kind of throwing a little shade at me going, hey, isn't that kind of a double standard that uh, that one of your buddies, Nick Ricada, got nailed with a, a loaded gun? And Hunter Biden also is loaded. going, look, all these gun charges, they tend to be fake, okay? They tend to be things that you catch people on to upcharge them on stuff they already got. Um, if you came into my house right now, you would find guns loaded, not in a gun safe. So it, they could do anything with that they wanted. So it's a, it's kind of a bogus, everyone knows it's a bogus charge. And it's something that our government, a bunch of Democrats that are gun grabbers, they love busting Hunter on this one. And they know Bi Daddy Biden can make it go away. So it's harmless to bust Hunter on the gun violation. I believe it's like a non issue. It's a nothing burger. He hit the nail on the head. This is all just for show, I feel like, because if they actually wanted to nail Hunter Biden, probably 10 different crimes on that laptop, yet they choose such a minor crime like this. It makes you sit back and wonder, why did they choose this crime in particular? And also, do you actually think Hunter Biden is going to serve a day in prison while his father is the president of the United States? Let's be real. I don't think that's ever going to happen with Biden in charge. Send him to jail for a month, a week. I think it'll get pushed. And then I think that when Joe Biden loses, um, he will pardon him on his last day. So there's no no big deal on this whole thing. Uh, I think Hunter Biden is guilty of much bigger crimes. This is the much more preferred yep. crime that the Democrats want to hang on him. But it's really, uh, again, absolute nothing burger. You know, I think they're struggling. I think they're struggling for credibility and they're trying to use this case to find a little bit of credibility. Now, that's the whole purpose of busting hunters for the Democrats to gain credibility. Whoopi Goldberg, all the ones that you see on TV, they have to be, they're feeling the heat. It means it's working, guys. America is working. The Democrats are feeling the heat going, wow, we really got caught overextended on our skis. We have to throw a bone to someone. We have to bust Hunter on this harmless, he's walking around with a gun violation. No one got hurt. The girlfriend dumped it in a dumpster or something. It is not a big deal. It's fake news to get dramatic about the Hunter Biden gun always was we just have to demonstrate that he will not take power um by uh if we uh, if he does run i uh, making sure he uh under legitimate efforts of uh, our constitution does not become the next president again and this is what our lawfare does <laughs> that's biden right before trump says he's going to go he's going to use every effort in the constitution in our law to go after people that's what the law does when it's politicized, it goes after people for little things like gun violations. I've had a number of friends, at least three who were felons, who were found with guns and they go to jail. OK, that happens. Yeah. Uh, all the time. The, the sole purpose of this entire thing is just for them to be able to gain credibility by saying, whoa, whoa, whoa we went after Hunter. Hunter committed crimes and we went after him. Now he's a free man. That's like attacking a man with a BB gun and you have a tactical nuke in your arsenal. That's essentially what's happening right here. But all the guys who I know who've ever been injured by a gun, it was through mishandle, misuse. It was never because they were felons or because they were drug addicts. Those aren't the ones that ever ran into trouble with guns. It's always the clean people that think their guns are unloaded when they're loaded. I am tonight announcing my candidacy for president of the United States. So that's Trump. He announces he's going for president. And then that's what clicks all of this stuff into motion. That's what started everything with Merrick Garland. Including the former president's announcement that he is a candidate for president in the next election. And the sitting president's stated intention to be a candidate as well. I have concluded that it is in the public interest to appoint a special counsel. So he he's putting Jack Smith in place, saying like, hey, there's two presidents here. I can't touch this. 
So he put a guy that's distant enough. This is like, oh, one of the terrible lines in Star Wars is always two there are, a master and an apprentice. Well, uh, Garland is the master and Jack Smith is the apprentice. Today, I signed an order appointing Jack Smith to serve as special counsel. Does that's anyone we else... We knew Does he was anyone else think this is completely outrageous? Donald Trump runs for president. Three days later, they go after Donald Trump. Three days after he announces he's going to be his lead rival in the next presidential election. Sometimes I'm sitting here and wondering, what the heck happened to the United States of America? Why don't we let the people decide who becomes the next president instead of attacking our political opponents and trying to put them in jail? I cannot believe it's happening in the greatest country that's ever existed, the United States of America. Our founding fathers are turning in their graves right now. Distance between himself and this thing, because this was going to be a criminal witch hunt designed to screw up Trump's campaign. Uh, been overzealous in some of these so cases. He's willing to stretch the law. John Roberts called it a boundless interpretation that would catch up uh, politicians in their ordinary acts that they do for uh, people. And I, and I think it's just uh, says maybe a lack of judgment. So that's all the professional lawyers all knew what was going on at the time. And they warned us that they were being too elastic with their laws. The White House fired back after defense attorney Ashley Merchant testified yesterday about a meeting between District Attorney Fannie Willis and Vice President Kamala Harris. Merchant cited evidence that Willis visited the White House in February of 2023. That's just months before a grand jury in Georgia indicted President Trump in the state's election interference case. Okay, now comes all the corrupt district attorneys come get loaded in. And these were, this was all televised and in public, but they are now being loaded in one at a time. That's Fonnie Willis, and they're all still coordinating with the White House. America is an uncharted territory. We are angrier and more deeply divided than we've ever been at any point in our history since the Civil War. I'm running for attorney because general people because like I her. will never be afraid to challenge this illegitimate president. And that's uh, Letitia James calling Trump an illegitimate president and telling you back in 2018 why she ran. She ran to indict him. And now she indicted him. Tell us why we should know about Colangelo's role in all of this. Because he held the number three spot at DOJ, which is maybe the most coveted spot at the Department of Justice outside of Attorney General itself, because typically that job uh, is a straight path to becoming a corporate bigwig, making a lot of money. But that's not what he did. He stepped down from that big promotion and took the job conveniently over with Alvin Bragg so he could ma maintain contact with the White House. Considered very elite. So for him to step down from that, to go work for a local prosecutor in New York on this case, uh, it says something. I, I think it says that he's gotta be a pretty true believer, and this is personal if he wants to get involved in this. And then that's when uh, this other guy, Alvin Bragg, who ran on expertise of uh, dealing with and getting Trump in New York. I'm the candidate in the race who has the experience with, with Donald Trump. I was the chief deputy in the attorney general's office. And lo and behold, he just got Trump just this week, nailed him, got him guilty. And then here's Alina Hava to wrap it up. We can't look at this as a big W. I think it is a bit more of a ruse, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Them trying to change the Trump narrative from the dual system of justice that I know all too well to, hey, look at us, we're being fair and impartial. No, you're not. Are you buying it that Hunter Biden? Let's be honest right now. Does anyone actually believe that any of these lackeys have an independent thought on their own and they're going after Trump because they think he committed crimes? Or are they going after Trump because they're being told to by higher up people saying, okay, just attack this man. They're having private conversations. I like to say Kamala Harris and Latita James talking in private. Yeah, you know exactly what they're talking about. Basically, lock this man up. We're sick of him. I'm sick of seeing this man's face. I just know for a fact that's the case. Have any concrete evidence on this? No, I don't. I don't think anyone does. Have the gut feeling, intuition. These are not great people. These are not nice people. The hell that they put Donald Trump and his family through is outrageous. Every single American should be fed up and up in arms. We as Americans need to come together and get these people out of power because they don't have our best interests at heart. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on this down below. Do you think that these people are working on their own or do you think they are being told what to do by higher ups? Please let me know your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear those. And if you enjoyed, make sure to smash that like, comment, subscribe, and I wish you guys nothing but the best. Till next time.